let's see what an angle is we already know what a ray is so when two rays meet at a point they make an angle so an angle is something where you have a point and two rays start from that point the whole thing makes an angle it is shown here so as you see here the point from which both the rays start is b and it is called as a vertex and the two rays here are ba and bc and these are called as arms of the angle now when we want to show an angle this is a symbol which is used to show the angle now this angle i can either call this as abc or it can be called as cba that means the vertex always comes in the middle when you are naming an angle now there are different ways to draw an angle the angle can be drawn like this or it could be like this or it could be even like this where the lengths of the arms need not be equal where uh, one arm could be shorter than the other now if i want to compare two angles how can i compare now i have these two angles when i look at these two angles i can see that the first angle is bigger than the second angle how can i say that because the arms of the first angle are more spread out are more opened out than the second angle it is easy to tell that because we can easily see the difference but sometimes the difference could be very small and it will be difficult to see with your eyes and tell which one is smaller and which one is bigger so the best way to tell that is to measure an angle now how do we measure an angle a unit that is used for measuring angles is called as degrees and this is the symbol to show degrees and what we use for measuring an angle is called as protractor so using a protractor we measure the angle and we can say that angle is either 50 degrees or it is 120 degrees or 120 180 degrees and so on so let's look at this protractor there is this line at the bottom that is called as the baseline and there is a center in the middle of that baseline and you can see that there are two scales there is an inner scale that starts on the right side from 0 and it goes to the left side from 0 to 180 and the outer scale is the outermost scale on the protractor which starts on the left hand side with 0 and goes to the right side up to 180 now let's say i want to measure this angle and i want to see um, how many degrees this angle is how do i do that i can take my protractor and place it on the angle how do i place it i place it such that the center comes on the vertex and the baseline is on one of the arms of the angle now when i place it like this i can see on the inner scale that the other arm is at 60 that means this angle is of 60 degrees now what if my angle was like this if it was facing in opposite direction i would still place the center on the vertex and the baseline on the on one of the arms but in this case it would be easy for me to measure this angle using the outer scale so this is how you measure the angle using a protractor